Hello everybody, Gumstitch here, welcome back to Subnautica. Now, uh, after last, last episode, I made my way back home, and I've just sort of been filtering stuff into the base from the Cyclops, but not all of it, because we're going to need a lot of it. And I wrote myself a little to-do list, because there's a lot of things that I want to do. First and foremost, two new scanner room range upgrades for our home base scanner room. We're going to pull out the speed upgrade and plug in the range upgrades. And we'll see what new things we can see, if anything. I mean, this this one is really just a... 500 meters, nice. This one I really just wanted to do so I could say I've done it. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, wow, I can see right to the edge there. That's so cool. And I think that's like... Is that like the edge of Cannon Island or close to it? Yeah, this this is really just something I wanted to do just so I could say that I've done it. And look at that like trench that kind of runs through there. That's cool. I love the terrain design in this. I wonder if they did it like if it was hand designed or if they just kind of made a random bump map in paint or something. Anyway, anyway, what else can we see now from here? Yeah, so it's heat area, wreck. I mean, what wrecks show up now? Eh, it's picking up quite a few. I'm confident that we've been to pretty much all of these. Uh, maybe not. At some point, I'll go around and actually check them all out. But for now, that's fine. Okay, next on the to-do list is uh, charge fins. Charge fins. Swim charge fins. So fins, which I've got. Uh, wiring kit, which I've got. And polyaniline. Polyaniline, that's the new one. So polyaniline needs hydrochloric acid and gold. Hydrochloric acid is a deep shroom, well, three deep shrooms and salt. I've got the deep shrooms on me. Where did I put the salt? Is it this one? It's that one. Lovely. So, oh yeah, hydrochloric acid. Well, that's brewing. I'll collect the gold. Should be there. Lovely. Thank you. And then we'll make our polyaniline. And that needed a wiring kit. I'm sure I've got one already made. Wiring kit. There it is. Lovely. Thank you. So, yep. So that was hydrochloric acid and polyaniline. So now, wiring kit. Now we just need fins. Now these... Ultra glide fins. Oh, do I just need like normal fins? Possibly. Possibly just need normal fins. So how do we make how do we make normal fins? Normal fins. Two silicone rubber. Easy peasy. Got some right there. Excellent. So then, then fins. Thank you kindly. Swim charge fins. Okay. Now I wonder how much more slowly we swim with these on versus normal fins. Let's hop out here. So that's that's a pretty decent swim speed with our with our ultra glide fins, right? If we switch out to these. Oh, that is significantly slower. Oh. Okay, all right, well, you know what we're gonna do with them? We're gonna load them into the Cyclops, into the pickle. And so while we're out and about, when we need to recharge, because I've done that, I've recharged all the batteries on everything for now, so everything's, well, nearly full. Everything's got a nearly full battery. We're gonna, we're gonna load the charge fins onto the Cyclops, and whenever we need to charge something, we can just throw those on and swim around for a bit. That sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, now, next, 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 next. Next, we need to plant some deep shrooms and the blood stuff. Uh, <laughs> I, I assume you can grow these, and so I would like to. Now, the blood kelp's probably going to get quite big, so I think we'll build it down here. Here, where's the grow bed? Exterior grow bed. Thank you. Cool. Aha, uh -huh, I can plant it. Excellent. And the uh, the deep shroom, I want them closer to the base. 
So we're going to grow them over here. Uh, yeah, over here. Over here. There's, there's this nice little spot right here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Now I should be able to like cut these. Yeah. 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 To get lots of seeds. No, 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 no. Cool. Yep. We just fill this with deep shroom seeds. Yeah. There we go. Cool. That's that's really good. Now I can't remember what else I needed the deep shroom for. Um, I know it was something. I know I needed them for something, but for now they can just go in there. What's next on the list? Uh, ooh, need to eat something while well, I think. Oh, oh yes, the alien containment thingy. Yes. It's like a, it's like an aquarium kind of thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Lovely. Eat these, la la la. Lovely. Stop by, pick up some water. Excellent. Yeah. So now the question becomes, right, where do we put the alien containment thing? Also, uh, what do I need for it? Five glass and two titanium. Five glass and two titanium. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Easy. And two titanium. So where do we put it? So I could put it in the big room back there because we don't really have much in there. But you know what? Actually, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in that big room back there. So, what, what are we up to now? Is that all of it? Just need one more after this? Yeah. One more. Thank you. Cool. So, alien containment. Oh, it's quite big. So, why can't I put it in that one? Oh! Oh, it takes up two slots. Oh, that's huge! Wait, is that going to get in the way of my farming? It is. Huh. I might need a new one of these just for this. Uh, mm, okay, what do those need? Two plasteel ingots. That's easy. That's freaking easy. Large room, large room glass dome. We'll just do the large room for now. Two plasteel ingots. Two plasteel ingots. I'm going to need to do another, like, rebuild of this base because I wasn't anticipating this. So right now, I guess I could put it over here. Like, yeah, see, it's gigantic. Okay, so it will fit there. It will fit right there. Um, it's not perfect because the creep vine is going to be in the way. I wonder if that gets automatically like deleted or whatever. I hope so. Hmm. Okay. I'm not so sure about that. Because then I won't be able to have like a passageway going to it because this, this like hillside is in the way more or less. Hmm. Okay. The alternative, because I just noticed this, the alternative is I just put it in one of these small rooms and have it as a small alien containment thing. But I, now that I know that it can be made double, <laughs> I, that's, that's what I want. I want that. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, I think that's going to have to be it. Because then we'll go through here, we'll go through here, and the doors will be like along here. That's okay. I can move all the farming over the other side. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's get those plasteel ingots. And two plasteel ingots. Righty oh. Now, if I like try placing it from in here, can I have a better idea of where the doors are gonna go? Mm, no. Alright, I've gotta do it from outside. Fine. Well, I've got a handy dandy hatch right here. So yep. Oh, could I put it underneath it? No, I couldn't. No. That's fine. Right right there. Yeah? Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. Pretty sure we've got the hull strength for this. Hull strength now 0 0.3. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's cutting it a little close. Um, but there we go. There we go. Okay. So I can step on through. 
All right, nice. Nice, the vines are not showing through, which is good. I was kind of worried about that. So, alien containment. I could fit two of them in here. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. <laughs> uh, that's not uh, that's not at all sinister. They may be studying you. How do I how do I put stuff in it? How do I put stuff in it? Um, do I need a, a hatch? Hang on, hatch. Oh, oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Cool beans. All right, well, um, it's just gonna walk through our garden beds a little bit. Uh, yeah, that needs to be reorganized, but okay, okay. Yeah, let's go get some of those eggs. I'm, I'm fascinated now. A few moments later. Um, something very strange has happened. I just built, I just built another aquarium and all the lighting's gone dim. That's very strange. What's going on? Yeah, we have power. We have power, the game is fine. What? Oh! Oh, because when I placed a hatch, oh, it sprung a leak somewhere. Ah, crap. Right, because all right, because I placed a hatch on the aquarium and it immediately said that we, <laughs> we now had uh, negative base integrity. And I thought, okay, I'll just quickly remove that. It'll be fine. Apparently it was not fine. Um, where's the leak? Where, where have we sprung a leak? Uh, <laughs> integrity restored. You bugger. Systems initiated. You absolute bugger. All right, we're going to need to build some uh, reinforcing panels. They're lithium and titanium. You know, we got plenty of both of that. So, bup, 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 bup. Let's drink a bit of water to get that out of the old inventory. And uh, lithium. Yes, bup, bup. That was it, yeah? One lithium, one lithium, three titanium. Yep, 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 yep. Good, 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 good. I think we'll put them on the outside of this new module since, um, you know, it's the cause of the problems anyway. So, right there. And... I do want to have windows, though, so... Can I put them in between? Don't need all these doors. Uh, can't really. That's fine. I'll put it right, right, right there. Right there. And done. Okay, base uh, hull, in hull integrity 14.3. Lovely. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now the lighting's back to normal. Very good, very good. So, as I was doing before, hatch. So, does that mean we actually just get in? <laughs> that's, that's nuts. We get. Uh, I use, no, I use some of the titanium. Now I'm wondering if we also put plant life in these, if we can, if we can put plant life in these. Let's finish that off real quick and hop into our aquarium. That's pretty cool. So how do I like, ah, planter, I can't. I put the creature eggs in, no. So all right, so I can put the deep shroom and I can put that in there. I can't put the coral though. That's pretty neat though. I like that. I can fill this out with whatever. So how do I do the eggs then? Do I just like drop them? Is that, is that how one does the eggs? The egg does seem to be moving. That's creepy as heck. Okay, so we'll drop all of them in here. <laughs> Whoa, what is that one doing? What are you doing, buddy? Whoa. So, okay, yeah. This must be how you do it, right? Maybe I should read the thing. 
Oh, cool. Units may be connected between rooms stacked in a column. That's wild. Uh, a hatch must be installed in order to access the unit. Ah, which I've done. The base of the unit is a planter, allowing sea flora to be grown from seed. Reading tips. Provided sufficient time and living space, organisms of the same species should mate and reproduce. Eggs inside the unit will hatch over time. Cool, so that is how you do it. Organisms raised from birth in captivity often exhibit unusually passive behavior. Ah. Environmental controls may fail if the unit is overpopulated. Infections may be transmitted faster between specimens in artificial environments. Never tap the glass, you don't know what will tap back or how hard. What? <laughs> that's a bit, that's a bit ominous. All right, we need to move these things out of the way. Yep, cool. I've got plant specimens, so that's all good. Where's my planter box? Indoor grow bed. Indoor grow bed. There we go. Uh, yeah, right there. Now we can have it a little bit closer to this wall. Uh, what with, um, oh, oh yes. Learn from the past. Make gaps so I can get around to all the plants. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. There we go. I'm just going to harvest a couple of samples from this one. This one could be all mushrooms, I reckon. Yeah, this one could be all mushrooms. We don't need that many potatoes. If we do, I can make another bed of just potatoes. And we've got two more beds of just potatoes. So I think we're going to be fine. And that one. Go right there. Lovely. Lovely. That one could be all mushrooms. I should probably like far out. That's not what I want to do. I want to do that to yep. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Fine, I give up on those ones. Nice. Five minutes later. Okay, there we go. All the planter boxes moved. We have a way through. Nothing has really hatched yet. Cool, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so now, any any eggs I find, they're going straight in here. I'm gonna collect them all and put them in here. Now, what do I need to make the roof? Enameled glass, titanium, and lithium. Okay, that's gonna be for later. Next on the to-do list, next on the to-do list, I wanna grab these. Yep, I'm gonna put these table coral sample back. I wonder if that can grow in there. That'd be kind of cool. We'll try that later. So I've got the purple tablets to go into the pickle. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I want to do the depth upgrade for the pickle. What does that need? Plastil ingot and three rubies. That's, uh, that's easy enough to do. Plastil ingot and three rubies. Yes, I knew there was a reason why I made another plastil ingot. So plastil ingot and three rubies. All right, and I was planning on building a bed in here too, which I haven't quite done yet, but depth module, yes. So I don't know how far down that'll let us go. Boop. 900 meters, fan blumentastic. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna pop the purple tablets here. Also the charge, the, the swim charge fins. Oh, I take these batteries and so go charge them. And that's all fine. That's all good. May as well leave all that stuff. I stalk seeds. Yes, take those. See if we can grow those in the aquarium. Ah, yes, and we need to grab these. I can't fit them all. That's fine. We're gonna plant these. Yeah, look, I wonder how much bigger it'll get. I'm really hoping it'll like go all the way up to the surface, but if it doesn't, if it if it looks like they don't actually grow that tall, I'll move the grow bed closer to the closer to the base here, just to make it easier to use. And what was the other thing? Oh, the eye stalk seeds. Let's see if we can grow these. I'm gonna put these in this aquarium if they work. 
planter. <gasps> they do! Ah, oh, sweet. Can I put them, the, the planters separate? The, yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, the planters are exactly the same. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna be cool. That's gonna be real cool. The ice storks. Can I see them yet? Or have they not really grown yet? I cannot see them yet. Okay, that's cool. What I, I would love it if like I could build another unit on top of here and connect these two so it's like one gigantic aquarium that I can walk through the middle of. Oh, can I not? Okay, I can squeeze through the middle of. That's all good. That's, oh cool, that's moving. That one's not though. Oh yes it is. Ever so slightly. Okay, so they're all alive. Excellent. The next thing on the old to-do list is something that I've been meaning to do for quite some time and I keep mentioning it every single time I go past this thing. I want to check out the vent, the, uh, the, the thermal vent that's right here. I'm fairly certain that this thing, the, the prawn suit, can withstand the temperature. So I want to check this out. I've been wanting to check this out since we started this freaking game. That's really cool. Okay, so is this... Ooh. Is this like as far down as we can go here? Now that goes further down. Okay, I've been in there. How much further down this can I go? Oh, that's it. That's the lava right there. Oh, hey, look at all the dead fish. <laughs> oh, you poor guys. It just, it just kills fish and they all just float down there. Oh, that's so cool. Um, oh, can I pick this up? Not with the drill arm. Can I pick it up with this? Storage has no room. Oh, right, the storage is full. That's all right. This is exploratory. So what's in here? I have a suspicion that I've already been through these tunnels. I, yeah, I definitely have. Okay. Well, I'm satisfied anyway, because I didn't know how deep that vent went. I'm, uh, I'm satisfied now. I think, I think we might be ready to head back to the, uh, to head back to the, the new area and go check out that cave that needed the purple thingy. I'm, I'm just going to quickly check my to-do list. Yeah, charge fins, alien containment. Ooh, do I switch out the sea moth for the prawn suit in here? So I kind of want to do more exploring down in the tunnels over that way. And the sea moth will have an easier time of that. But there is also that, that, um, uh, what do you call him? The ghost leviathan juvenile that might absolutely destroy a sea moth. However, however, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to switch it out. I'm going to switch it out. Okay, I've just built a few more storage lockers for all the extra stuff. You know, I'm thinking about it now, and actually I want to take the prawn suit because the prawn suit has the drill arm, and the drill arm is really useful, and there's a lot of good materials to gather there. So, we're taking the prawn suit. <laughs> After all that, we're still taking the prawn suit. Yeah, we're still taking the prawn suit because I want to be able to gather up the uh, the various materials that we've seen over that way. There's a lot of copper there. There's a lot of copper and gold and stuff, and I, I want it. I want it. So that's my reasoning, and I'm sticking with it. This time, as we approach this trench, this, this area, this cave, or whatever it is, I need to be mindful to not go too far to the right of it, because as we saw last time, that's where a ghost leviathan lives. And I really don't want to get its attention. At least, you know, not until I've bothered... Oh, that was on the list. <laughs> the decoys. I meant to make decoys. They're on the list. They're just really far down on the list. Oh, well. Next time, eh? Next time. So, yeah, the ghost leviathan... We're still, actually, we're still quite a long way from that, so I think he's sort of like over that kind of a way, I think, thereabouts. So, oh yeah, this ridge. We'll go along this ridge. This ridge is where we put the solar panels. And then, at least I think it is. 
Oh gosh, I hope it is. You're pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Or this is the ridge along which, along where we found the ghost leviathan. Actually, yeah, now that I'm looking at it, oh gosh, that, that actually kind of startled me a little bit. Um, yeah, now, now that I'm, now that I think about it, I think we might be in, we might have gone the dangerous way. But that's all right. I'm sure everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I'm not going to lie. It's more than a little intimidating that it is just nothing but inky blackness beneath us. I, I, I've made the mistake once again of doing this at night when visibility is, you know, near zero. <laughs> I'm a very good captain. Uh, all right, we'll start making our descent now, I think, because I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, there's all the stuff. There's all the, 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 what are they? Jeez. The, um, <laughs> the blood vine. That's all the blood vine. So, pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. We're safe here. Well, safe is a relative term, I think, but safe enough. Ah, oh, look, there's the power lines. There's the power lines, and there's our little base. Our little base away from home. A home away from base. Oh, yeah, and there's that jerk just won't let me kill him. Why won't you let me kill you? Oh, and there's the cave. Yeah, cool. We we have we have arrived. We have arrived. So let's turn that off. Let's announce our arrival. <laughs> uh, now, I need purple tablet. Purple. Which one did I put it in? This one. Purple tablet. Which probably also eats something, I think. And why has the music gone... Not so much creepy or sinister, but unnerving. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, I like the music. I'm not a fan of the fact that it's playing now in these circumstances. I don't like that. It's kind of like, you might be in danger kind of music, you know? And I guess I kind of am because there's a warper right there. It'd be, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. I leave the headlights on. I should probably turn them off conserve power. So we're going to go in the prawn suit. Lovely. Prawn suit away. Everything, we've got everything charged up. The batteries are charged in everything. The batteries are charged in the Cyclops. All my tools are charged. We'll grab a bit of gold. Okay. Warper has noticed me. Uh, it is screaming, although it's not really coming this way. I spoke too soon. No, okay. Um, <laughs> where'd you go? There you are. Cup, pow. Uh, mm. yeah, yeah. I swear, I'm gonna kill that one if it kills me. I mean, I hope it doesn't. Oh wow, I'm injured. Does the warper's warp thingy injure you as well? Oh, that's not good. I mean, it's good to know, but it's not. Hmm. Okay then. Let's maybe let's just do the, the the thing. Let's just do the thing before this warper kills me, because I have no way of healing myself. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Okay then, um, that's a good lesson to learn, that the warper's warp is uh, painful, and yeah, I definitely don't have the things to make a first aid, uh, a first aid thingy, I really should have built that, I really should have brought the things to make that before coming here, but alas, here we are. Where'd that warper go? I don't like that. I don't like how it just disappears. Well, I guess it warps, doesn't it? Now, where's all my stuff? Where's all my stuff? Is it just in here? No, not in that. 
Uh, hmm. Oh, I still got it on me. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, stuff you then. Well, there we go. <laughs> Can't stop me. What's that? Is that something I need or want? Lead. Oh, I'll grab a bit of it. Yeah, that'll do. Now, where's this cave? There's more gold. There's so much stuff here. This is great. <gasps> Cuddlefish egg discovered? Rabbit ray egg discovered? So I, I'm guessing that my eggs back at base hatched. And now maybe I've made like new discoveries. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So I'll get little notifications when things hatch. Cool, 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 cool. And... Kaboosh! All right. Now this, this was where it was, right? This needed the, yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. I wonder what's in here. I wonder what's in here other than, insert tablet, other than just the ion cubes, which of course I'm going to take. Whoa. What the heck is this place? Why, why is it laid out like this? What are these? Anything? No. We've got a bunch of ion cubes and one of these. Data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Where's the new data? Oh, is this one it? This must be it. Okay, Alien Sanctuary Beta. This antechamber consists of a series of data hubs, each adorned with an ion cube. These are networked up to the main terminal in parallel, presumably to ensure data integrity over time. Evidence suggests that this antechamber served as a sanctuary of last resort for the aliens that built it. In the event of a catastrophe, they could retreat here and somehow transfer themselves to the data, data hubs for preservation. Interesting. It is unclear whether other members of the alien species ever returned here or how many souls are backed up on the hubs, but the data stored is far too complex to reconstitute with the little information available. So, so these have the aliens downloaded into them, maybe? I'm not sure. Yon. Yon. And I can turn these into things. That's a little horrifying. That's kind of like in uh, Skyrim, you know, <laughs> trapping Nazim's soul in a knife and using that knife to kill his wife. <laughs> it's a little bit horrifying when you really think about it. Well, this beacon has served its purpose, so I may as well retrieve it and use it somewhere else. Yum. Oh, wow. So that's the way I... is that... yeah, that's the way I came in here, but... That's really cool. Like, intimidating, but really cool. So how do I get out again? Where's, which way? That way! hi -ya! And I'll tell you what, I'd really like to not run into that warper again. But it's, it's gonna happen. I need to move the Cyclops, actually, because it's not in a good place. Also, something that I realized while I was editing the last episode... <laughs> you remember when I was going up? all the way up there and uh, doing my best to scavenge what I could to make the solar panels. There were bloody solar panels on this that I could have disassembled. What's my inventory like? Yeah, it's good. I could have just disassembled these and taken these with me. Ugh, that's upsetting. Because <laughs> these are doing absolutely nothing. So I may as well have just disassembled them and taken them with me. Oh well, at least I realized eventually and now can, you know, put them to good use. No, not the, not that, this. Uh, where is the bay? The bay is that darker bit. Yeah? Yeah. Ka-chunk, whoops, there we go. Thank you very much. Just need to unload the inventory a bit. Now I was about to eat but none of the melons have um, have grown again yet. And I thought, oh no, what am I gonna do? And then I, oh, why, which way have I gone? Oh my gosh. But then I remembered, knife. Hot, hot knife. Hot, hot knife, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, he's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. You know what, you know what? Whoa, 
stalkers that try to get me get stabbed. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, at least slashed a couple of times before they run away like a coward. Uh, let's just eat that real quick. Yum. More fish. I see more fish. Uh, come back. Come. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Also, with the aquarium, I wonder, can I put actual live fish in the really big alien specimen thingy and breed them that way? I'm very curious. I think I might try that at some point. I need more fish for now, though. Come here. Come here. Come here. I need to eat you. Yeah. Yes. So good. <laughs> Such a useful tool. All right, before we head into the cave, it's going to turn this on. Oof, ghost Leviathan. Yeah, it's still not seeing the juvenile. Okay, well, that's all right. I would really like it to highlight the juvenile for me, but I'm sure I'll see it. It's, uh, it's hard to miss. Now let's head up here. And have I got anything in on me that I don't need? Nope, good. Let's be on our way, eh? Because now this, now that I've given this the, the depth module, this can now go into the tunnel as well. And I thought that might be fun. You know, take my base a little bit, a little bit further in with me before I jump out into the prawn suit. Just to check it out. Goodness, it gets dark down here. Even with the the headlights on, it's 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 unpleasantly dark. So where are we? Oh heck, we're like right into the river. I thought we had a way to go yet. Oh oh, don't see anything on the radar, which I think is a good thing. Because if I don't see it, it doesn't see me, right? That's how that works. Pretty sure. Alright, let's jump in the old prawn suit. Our, uh, our underwater mech suit. And go for a little explore. What's that? Is that copper? That's copper. We'll grab that while we're here. At least some of it anyway. So, in we go. We're not going to touch the acid. We've learnt, we've learnt about the acid. So, oops, a daisy. Come on. Forwards. There you go. Okay. I wonder if I need to build a scanner room down here. I don't even know what I'd see if I... I don't know what I'd see if I did. Like, I, what, what I mean by that is I don't know if it would be too cluttered of a display and I wouldn't really be able to see anything. Or if it would be... Oh, there's the juvenile. There's the juvenile. Yum. Now I do have my stasis rifle at the ready. I just want to do a little exploring. Because I did see other caves down here. And if I reckon if I just like make my way around the edges. He hasn't hasn't seen me, has he? No, good. Make my way around the edges. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh, um, 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 uh, <laughs> I see something over here, I need to go, <laughs> oh no, no, oh it's alien, it's alien, yes, oh, <gasps> sand shark egg uncovered, nice, oh, <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, don't tell me you can come in here. Hang on, I can breathe in here. Oh, cool. Right. Okay, well, leave him out there for a while. <laughs> I'm sure he'll get uh, bored and leave eventually. So what's in here? Ooh, ooh, is it another one of the teleporty things? Ooh, I 
Okay, all right. All right, hopefully a purple tablet will activate this one like it did the last one. Oh. Oh, I don't see... I don't see an activation thing. It's like fallen down somewhere. No. Oh. Oh. Can't scan it. There's no activation terminal. Oh no! How do I activate this one then? Oh, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping when I saw it that, you know, I'd be able to activate it and use it to teleport somewhere new. Okay, so either this is just a relic and it doesn't actually do anything, or more likely it pairs up with, um, it pairs up with another teleporter somewhere else. And this is like the way out. Maybe there's one that's much, much deeper into these caves and it'll bring me back here? Maybe? I mean, that sounds plausible. All right, is it? It hasn't left you. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what do I do? It hasn't left. It knows I'm here and it won't go away. That's not great. I, I was sure it would have gotten bored by now. Huh. Well, that is a problem for next time. Because for now, I need to go. That is all the time I have for recording today. So that, uh, oh, oh, is it leaving? Is it actually leaving? Yes, it got bored. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We will continue exploring down in these terrifying caves in the Lost River next time. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you then. Bye bye This video was brought to you by these very generous people. Thanks, guys.